We're on scene at Air Station San Francisco, where I'll experience firsthand the challenges and duties of a flight crew team. I'm Scott Morris. Over the years, we've seen the incredible rescues conducted by Coast Guard personnel from air stations around the country. It takes a very special breed of person to handle these duties, and it takes a team. Flight crews perform together like clockwork. They have to. When lives are on the line, every second counts. Recently, I had the rare opportunity and privilege to be part of a flight crew, to experience firsthand each job and to see the vital role teamwork plays on every case. My incredible journey begins at Air Station San Francisco. My first stop is the rescue swimmer shop. It's here that the flight crew gear is stored and maintained. First, I need to get suited up and get some basic training under my belt before I can even think about tackling any of these jobs. What well, we got here is some of your personal gear that you're gonna wear when you fly. All right. Now I'm gonna explain it to you real quick. All right. This is a... Uh, gear that you, you need in the worst case scenario, right. should you end up in the water, should the plane crash. Okay. Now, we're going to go through real quick egress. Okay. You're in the plane, you're flying, you hit the water. If okay. the crew don't kill you for hitting the water, you got to get out, okay? All right. First thing you're going to do, we're going to show you this downstairs, is get rid of your door, get it out of the way. Right. Get your oxygen bottle in your mouth, ready to breathe, but you're not breathing on it until you're underwater. Okay. And you don't have now, they wouldn't just let me take their word for it, so it's off to the pool to practice these important drills. All this ride is, is you're just going to go upside down and do a normal egress. You know, the emergency, kick your feet. Floundering, and we're going to bring you back up. Maintain a handhold. Wait till all motion stops. Wait till all motion stops. Because <laughs> there's going to be some motion. The dunker, as Coasties refer to it, simulates what happens if a helicopter lands in the water and flips over. Crew members are belted into the dunker and then turned upside down underwater. Each person must learn how to activate their oxygen bottle, release their harness, and then exit the helicopter. Definitely not an easy task and definitely intimidating. If at first you don't succeed, try and try and try again. Believe me, this is not the fun part. It is by far one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever been through. Thanks again. Thanks for flipping me over. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. I cannot imagine being in an open sea in a real, you know, the adrenaline rush of if your copter went down and then having to try and maintain some sort of calm. And it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> so now that I know how to get out of a helo in an emergency, it's time to check out the flight mechanic's job. The flight mech is responsible for conducting the hoist during a rescue and acting as the eyes and ears for the pilot throughout the flight. This means that I not only have to learn how to manage the hoist cable, but I must use the correct terminology during the entire evolution. Basket is clear, move back and left. Basket is coming up. The yaw to the left. My final phase of pre-flight training is with the pilot of the aircraft. Here, I learn how to operate the radio to communicate with the rest of the crew from the co-pilot seat. We also review the flight controls and instruments on board. Okay, you want to raise the nose, pull back, you'll start to climb. 
If you want to lower the nose, push forward, you'll start to dive. Okay, okay but these movements we, we're making right now are way too, too big when we're flying. Yeah. If you put your hands in the controls, tomorrow when we're flying, the movements we're going to be making are about like that. Mm -hmm. We can control all of our turns with, with less than an inch of movement of the cycle. Okay. That's about all you need to know to fly this helicopter. <laughs> we'll have fun tomorrow. I'm ready. We'll do some of that pilot stuff. Excellent. By the time we finish, my heart is racing, and I'm ready to give it a go. Next, I'm at the controls of the HH-65 Dolphin helicopter. Then, just when I get the hang of flying, I'm dropped into the freezing San Francisco Bay. 